everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello I am back with a candy tasting video and of course it is an English candy chocolate video <laughs> I also have a couple of different things that I think I'm gonna make into two videos because it's quite a lot today we will try all the chocolate stuff this is all stuff that I haven't tried I love English chocolate the quality is just so much better it has to come second to Toblerone because Toblerone is my all-time favorite chocolate. I want to start off with the Smarties. I love the mini eggs and I kind of feel like these would be similar to it. So we're going to go ahead and give those a go. I've been dying to try these because here Smarties are like a hard candy and I'm not a fan of them. And I guess, I'm guessing these are kind of like M&Ms but better quality so like mini eggs. So they're nothing like the mini eggs. That doesn't mean that they're bad, they're good. The shell reminds me of something very similar. I will rate these out of 10, eight out of 10, because I, they were good. Now let's try the Galaxy Ripple. I have tried the Flake Bar. I'm guessing that it's similar to it. In terms of the Flake, I thought it was good, but it wasn't the best thing that I've had. Okay, so it doesn't look like a Flake Bar. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm not too sure if you can see the inside of it. That really threw me off because I was almost expecting a caramel when I was biting into it. Because the top of it feels a lot like a Twix. But it was just, your teeth just sank right through, right through to it. Did I love it? No. Would I buy it again? Probably not. I would say 6 out of 10. The chocolate's very different from like Cadbury. I don't know if they're affiliated at all, but it is a very different taste. I'm so sorry, the light keeps on changing in here, and it's not fun. You see, it just got brighter. I am guessing that these are gonna be like the Smarties, and I think I'm really gonna like these. Oh crud, why'd I open it like that? Hmm. To be honest, they're not bad. I think it's the taste of Galaxy that I'm not a big fan of. Probably a 6 out of 10. I have really high hopes for this one. This is the Galaxy Duet. It's a mixture of cookies and cream. Cream on one side, cookie bits on the other. That's what it looks like. So this one does taste different. The chocolate tastes better. The cream is very different because it's soft and then there's the crunchy side. So I really like that because you have the little crunch. It's nothing like the cookies and cream bar that we have here. Ours is a lot more white chocolatey and a lot more crisp, whereas this one is a lot more chocolatey. Essentially, you're just tasting chocolate with a crunch, which I like because I like when my chocolate has stuff in it. So that one I would give a 7 out of 10. I mean, chocolate's chocolate. Chocolate can actually never really be bad, I don't think. That's why like my bad rates aren't really bad. Everything from here on out is Cadbury. Get that Friday feeling with crunchy. It's very crunchy. Golden honeycomb wrapped in Cadbury chocolate. I don't think I've ever had honeycomb. <gasps> oh my god! I probably shouldn't have crunched it like that. Oh, I thought it'd start fizzing. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm gonna like this. It's a really strange texture because it's crunchy, but it's airy, and you feel like it should fizz, but it doesn't fizz. I like that. It's 8 out of 10. Give this twirl a whirl. Okay. It's two bars, so kind of like a Twix. Mmm. Oh, no. It's the same exact thing as the Ripple, which, like I said, isn't bad, but it's not my cup of tea. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Let's do the buttons. I have tried the generic brand of buttons, I think, which was... um. They were the Tesco white chocolate buttons. I think these would be really good if you freeze them because when it's just plain chocolate and if it's like this, like they're so teeny, I feel like that with a bit of a crunch would just be delicious. Like Those need to be put in the freezer. And I'm not one to freeze my chocolate, but if it's solid chocolate, I will. <laughs> Moving on to the double decker. Milk chocolate with a soft, chewy nougat on top and crunchy cereal bottom. Mm -mm. Let's start off with the texture of the top. It's almost, it looks like it'd be like marshmallow fluff, kind of, but that's not what it tastes like. It's very 
chewy but not excessively chewy if I'm explaining it right I'm not too sure and then the little crunches in the bottom it reminds me of one of those cereal bars with the like fake milk on the bottom and I don't like those unfortunately I'm not a fan of this I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 10. We will end it trying the picnic bar. What it looks like is that it has nuts and raisins. I'm a fan of both chocolate covered nuts and raisins. Like I said, I like stuff in my chocolate, so let's give that a try. It kind of reminds me of like a payday meets one or two raisins. And you know, something, something happens. You decide, let's bring the little puff balls in, you know, like little puff cereal. And let's just mix ourselves all together and create a picnic. I can see how people like this, but I'm not too big a fan. I would give it a 6.5. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That would make me very happy. Until next week, bye.